Hello, guys. This is episode 68, and I'm calling this episode Power Laws All the Way Down. It's about active addresses. Now, the market's down a little bit today. We're at 68,500. Uh, I don't, there's nothing to say. This is normal. I'm not even spending any time worrying about it. Um, but I am worried about is how do we, how do we model these active addresses? How can we convince ourselves that Bitcoin has been going up? in terms of usage uh, since the beginning. And um, let's just take a quick look at kind of what was bothering me a little bit uh, or earlier uh, and why it no longer bothers me. Now, if you look at sort of total number of active addresses on Glassnode, right, this kind of filters out addresses that, that, that have not been used. So I can create an address uh, for a new Bitcoin transaction every time I'm doing a Bitcoin transaction, but you know that's not good because that just I'm creating multiple addresses and, and and those are not really used. But this metric is better because this metric kind of uh, keeps track of every address that's been used in the last thirty days. So you would think this is a good metric. Now, this this problem with this metric is is as you can see, it went all the way up and then we just sort of stagnated in twenty uh, November of twenty seventeen. We've never actually even reached that. Pit. That peak again. We, well, we reached it once, but we've never really exceeded it. Um, so that's sort of disturbing to me. And uh, and then Stephen Paranode pointed out uh, quite correctly that um, if you look at the number of addresses with a, a balance in them, and you can look at what balance that number is growing pretty consistently. So what I did is I started modeling out these growth curves with different balances. So I can look at balance of a million sats, balances of 10 million sats, balances of a Bitcoin, balances of 10 Bitcoin, right? And you can sort of see it's already breaking down here. Balances of 100 Bitcoin, uh, that's sort of completely breaking down. Balances of 1,000 Bitcoin, sort of better. Balances of 10,000 Bitcoin, here we go. So I'm really not going to focus on these these number of 100, 1,000, and 10,000 Bitcoin, but I am going to focus on these these four balances with uh, a million sats, no, balances of 10 million sats, and balances with one Bitcoin, and a little bit balances with 10 Bitcoin here. And so what I've done is I've taken all this data, and uh, I have um, I put it into. Uh, uh, my own spreadsheets, and I started looking at it. So here we have the 0 0.01 Bitcoin. So this is a million sats or larger holdings. And I put it into log space, and I calculated growth, and lo and behold, it is a perfect power law with 98% R squared, and the exponent is 2.49. So that was really interesting. So now I went all the way up to um, 10 million sats, I'll just call this megaplankton. I'm not sure there really is a name. And again, complete power law to growth, and R squared is 97.6%. Okay, wow. Then I went up to one Bitcoin, and this is the best law of it ever. I'm almost getting 99% R squared, and it's growing at a 1.4%, 1.4x uh, power law, uh, time to the 1.4 power. And finally, I, I look at this crab level of 10 Bitcoin. Okay, so, um, and again, as I sort of noticed earlier, the, the R squared is starting to deteriorate. And I, I haven't done the calculation for 100 Bitcoin, but I'm, I'm sure it will continue to deteriorate or even for 1,000 Bitcoin. But now, if I take all these numbers and I have now a number for, let's say a number for, uh, 0 0.01 Bitcoin, which is 2.49. I have the number for one, 0 0.1 Bitcoin, which is 2. I have the number for 1 Bitcoin, which is 1.4. And I put all those things on the plot, right? And I plot it against the logarithm of the Bitcoin holdings, right? And voila, we have a perfect power law. And amazingly, this power law fits with a 99% R squared. So kind of as Giovanni was saying to me, sort of, in a private message, he goes, it's power laws all the way down. And I completely agree. And again, just proves that the power law theory is, is really probably correct. Um, 
So, uh, so yeah, so that's, that's it. That's it for this episode. Um, we are now 24 days before the happening. It's not bad. It'll make some difference. It'll make a psychological difference. And as some people have said, this is a kind of a, a week period, a one to two week period, which are, which are generally negative or the bad for Bitcoin and it's showing it up, but I'm not, I don't think you should do anything. So, uh, that's it. That's my episode and I will catch you on the next episode.